Hi guys, so welcome back to Faith Studio School. Um, it's me, Marius, here back again, and we have amazing model Annabelle that's going to be helping us today with the video. We have amazing Dorota who did this beautiful look on the Annabelle's, and we have videographer obviously behind the camera and filming us now. Uh, so basically, what we did last time, we covered one light setup and the different reflectors. Um, today we're going to do two light setup and we also going to probably be using some reflectors to uh, uh, create this look that we're going for. So uh, yeah, let's go and shoot, right? Yeah. <laughs> In the first video with one light with different reflectors uh, to create different mood and give different feel to the images, uh, final images. Where in this video we're going to introduce another light, so we're going to have a um, total of two lights uh, and we're going to use different reflectors to give different mood to the images. So for the first look we're going to use large octagon, octagon um, umbrella softbox with continuous LED light set on full power. Um, for our rim light this time we're going to use a strip uh, softbox with a LED light set on 80% of the power. Um, because we're using large, um, large uh, softbox, we're going to have quite a lot of spill on, on the model from, from the walls and ceiling, etc. Um, so obviously from the ceiling we cannot, we cannot reduce that. Uh, we cannot reduce any spillage from the floor. You could, if you use some sort of black sheet of the paper or material, whatever, you can put on the floor and that reduces the um, reflection from the wall coming up um, to the model from the bottom. Um, but we're going to keep it simple, we're going to use two blackboards on each side of the model and that's going to reduce the spillage from the walls from that side and that side. So you kind of get only the main light and the rim light on the model and then the shadows on where they have to be. Um, and you do them on your own taste and what kind of look you're going for. So let's go and shoot and see how it looks. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the first uh, light setup, um, which are quite often used uh, f with, within photography and videography, um, just to kind of give the three-dimensional look to the model um, using two lights. Um, so this light setup, we're gonna use the same key light, um, same strength, same softbox, um, only this time we're gonna place it above the model. So basically to put the, to put the light above the model, um, without having a stand in the frame, we need to use a boom arm. So for this, for this shot, we used a, a boom arm that we got from Pixar Pro. It's very strong, solid, um, and you are not afraid to place the heavy light with the softbox above the model. Because um, in some situations, if you use a light, if you use a weaker stand, it can collapse and uh, you don't want that. Um, and also we're gonna use the strip light that we used before as a, uh, rim light, we're gonna put it in the front of the model, slide it in an angle uh, to again keep it out of the frame, um, but sort of give a fill light on the model because the top light would um, create, create the shadows on the eyes, the chin, etc. Uh, so we want to fill in a little bit of light in, in the front, so just to make a, yeah diffuse the shadows. Um, also, uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna place model um, on an edge of a soft box. Um, so the light, we get, uh, so the light diffuses and gives us a very, very smooth light um, on the model's face. Rather, if you put the model in the middle and the light is right above the model, you get very, very harsh shadows um, basically on the model. Um, so yeah, so let's go and have a have a try and see what it looks like.
Hi guys, so I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial um, where we covered two light setup um, with a couple of different reflectors. So yeah, if you really liked it and you'd like to see more videos, please smash the uh, subscribe button and press the like button as well. So yeah, uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.